am Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, and I've taught holistic health for over 45 years. And out of my research in applied integrated biophysics, I invented the true bioscalar fusion technology known as the Energy Enhancement System, or the EE system. And it's, it's really developed for enhancing that light force and life force energy for the body. Yes, I've always known that I'm here for the healing of the world. That's my mission. It's my one purpose for being on the planet as far as I'm concerned. But I came in that way in that, you know, my parents met in engineering physics, uh, both of them top secret government scientists. My mother uh, is a nuclear physicist working on the bomb, uh, fissioning plutonium in the labs the whole time she was pregnant with me. And my dad, the electrical mechanical structural engineer, uh, and he worked on Mach 3 and stealth bombers. It began with my parents meeting in engineering physics to bring that forward um, with all the healing energy. How the EE system came to be from my initial work uh, 1978 with my scalar healing light chamber. So this was an evolution of really listening cell by cell to find out what allows maximum capacities for light and life force energy. How do you create the maximum benefit and asking, okay, God, now how do we create the next quantum leap of consciousness for this planet? So I was asked in that meditation to create the technology after listening to so many bodies and and listening to all the wisdom that everybody carries within them how do we bring that forward how do we call forth all that knowledge from within us and support that accelerated evolution of what's really in our DNA and our God code. But it's all about how do we take that work for the healing of mankind, for the healing of the environment. And so this was a, a big project as far as technology has been used in the past to disrupt, you know, destructive detrimental fields have been used where the body is con in constant compensation uh, taking all this energy just to cope with a hostile environment as we've been living in electrosmog, but radiation uh, and EMF, ELF, and, and a total polluted environment of you know, all the toxins in the air, the food, the water. And yet life force is so strong that we want to support that light force, life force energy, because as we can activate the light at the core of the DNA, and as we then radiate light, nothing that is not of that light can affect us. So that's what the technology is developed for, but also to take technology that was used in the past for detrimental and destructive means, to to take that energy and create a total transmutation of energy into beneficial, into coherent, life force enhancing energy. Some of the side effects of scalar, it's, it moves at superluminal velocity, which means beyond the speed of light. You know, so it, that's part of what it does. It's a scalar vortex that creates coherence, which is a very, very important principle in that in there's, where there's coherence in the body, along with that superluminal velocity of movement, that's your cell signaling and, 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 and it's an enhancing an entire environment within us and around us. So we ended up putting the technology one of, one of our initial systems that we began doing more research with, besides with the Tesla Society, we did research with NASA, put a system in Houston, and they were studying the effects on the DNA and found that it was repairing all the breaks in the DNA, all the genetic damage, and lengthening telomeres. Now, why is that important? Now, some of the research with the initial system was they found that there was a total neutralization or nullification of all detrimental fields, including radiation. 
You know, so now we're dealing with the ionizing radiation, like from Fukushima. But radiation, basically, to understand it easily, unzips the DNA. You know, breaks those bonds, shortens the telomeres, creates accelerated aging, so to speak. But everybody knows radiation creates our cancers and things like that. And what we're dealing with now on the planet is everybody is dealing with what's been considered from some of the NASA physicists I've worked with, an extinction level event after Fukushima. That in itself was considered an extinction level event because the levels of radiation were so high uh, and would create so much damage. So that unzipping of the DNA. Well, with this, we're working with unified fields that puts the DNA back to its original divine matrix, its original divine design. And they found it was putting the DNA back and lengthening the telomeres. So that's true age reversal. But it's, it's just by giving the body the energy that it relates to, to heal anything and everything, because the power that made the body heals the body. So I've been working with how do you plug the body back into that cosmic light socket? universal unlimited power on and how do you charge every cell of the body as quickly and easily as you recharge your cell phone <laughs> it's like a whole body charger uh, wireless transmission because you know scalar is a wireless transmission and that release of charge gives all this energy that the body relates to as hyper healthy energy that it understands what to do with. And the body grabs the energy, gets excited. Literally, it's cellular excitation as it's activating the light within us. It started with research with the Tesla Society. And so John Orva was one of the top researchers from the Pentagon who was brought to meet me. He was the head of science for the Pentagon, skunk works, phantom works, things like that. And he came in with a $100,000 oscilloscope to measure fields and, and explain what he was seeing and what it meant. And he found that it was a total nullification or neutralization of the detrimental fields, creating coherence, but creating that true zero point energy where it was nullifying, but also releasing all this beneficial energy, a total transmutation of detrimental fields into beneficial. So he explained uh, how that works, but he also explained how it had carried the energy of bone regeneration and the bone healing energies, and he saw that. And also talked about how we're colliding photons and creating something called photonic fusion. Uh, you know, we're the, again, talking about that cold nuclear fusion type event, but photonic fusion, uh, where that's, that, that's part of what occurs in the body. So another physicist I worked with, Panos Papas, found that what occurs in the body is actually cold fusion. So we're working with that natural energy that's in the body, although this is the real, um, you know, suppressed science, so to speak. This is not, you know, what you're gonna find in physics schools because, this is the quantum physics, it's your biophysics, and it's that high level of physics. So I've worked with all these top scientists, and he, so he explained how that works and what that means um, with that photonic fusion. And with, fo with fusion, there's a release of active hydrogen and active oxygen. So with that, you've got some of the cellular mechanisms of action being being created in that you've got your ultimate oxygen therapy, where it's releasing the active oxygen in the body to fully oxygenate the cells, to fully oxygenate the organs, and particularly to oxygenate the brain. Because part of what radiation does is ionizes the brain. So then you've got that reduction of IQs. Well, you know, it wasn't that I'm an, a genius. I wanted to trigger everybody's genius and that right-left brain synchronization and whole brain thinking. So this is one of the first things it does we found with the research is that right-left brain synchronization back to zero point, back to that energy of pulling the body out of fear reaction patterns, pulling the body out of what's 
you know, you're, you know, put body basically back in homeostasis and dynamic homeostasis, where it's a continual reorganization to higher levels of function. But putting the body, the brain, back in balance. And every part of the body wants to be in balance. So it's giving the energy that reminds the body how to do that. It's really back to Tesla's work that went through the planet, working with the grids within the planet, around the planet, to generate these fields of consciousness uh, that's all about alignment with true best and highest potential. You know, it's our exponential as a planet and as a species, as far as how do we live our highest potential? How do we create energy on the planet that we would have in an ideal world? So that's what we've tried to create with the technology. So there's a lot of things that got layered in. It's dense intentional informational fields. You've got the photonic aspect, where we're colliding photons. You've got the scalar aspect, which is very, very important. Um, it, it, there's uh, all the benefits of grounding, for example, that's putting the body back. There's a predominance of the Schumann residence because you need to be very grounded or what's called earthing. And you can look up that research, obviously, but that's the body's natural timing pulse. But it also relates to ideal optimal brain states. And, we, you know, so some of the research I did with John Orva, because he was considered the top brain researcher on the planet and, you know, president of the Biophysics um, Research Association and things like that. Um, so we found that it, people could go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in approximately seven minutes. Really, really powerful, ideal, optimal meditation states. That's part of the main intentionality of the technology. However, it's in alignment with true best and highest potential. But when you're in that place of balance and alignment, then you're no longer at effect. In that place of balance, you're able to affect everything. So it's a very effective <laughs> technology in that that brings you to that place where you're no longer taking all your energy just to cope, but instead you have access to that power and light and love within you that allows you to affect everything around you. In those ideal optimal brain spates, you might let yourself know what God wants you to know, you, but you're breathing light, literally breathing light photons, quantums of light through every cell and every part of you, letting every cell know and remember the power of that truth and the love, the light, the eternal light of eternal life that's within us.